And I, I don't know how much I can show you guys here, but I, I want to show this over on the on the video stream here. Uh, so I'm going to pull up. Uh, so there's, there's this app called Quartz, and you guys can check out the article as well uh, as we're going, kind of get this getting this prepared. But the idea is, and Quartz, I believe, is is its own kind of website magazine kind of thing. I know it's come up a lot on my Apple News feed. Uh, Chilla, are you familiar with the publication? I am not familiar with the publication. Okay, but it, but it's always had really interesting stories. So I saw this thing popped up, and I, it was one of those things that I sort of uh, immediately dismissed um, until I, I until it kind of popped up to me again, and and I kind of understood what the concept was. So the idea is, as I'm going off mic, pardon me. Um, the idea is that uh, it's a text app for news. Okay, now I popped them in here, and of course there's an ad because I was playing with this a little before. But there's a little chat that says "Good evening" because I just popped in here. Uh, the Saudi Russian the Saudi Russian oil freeze agreement didn't prop up prices as expected. And I have a next button, and I have something that's a bunch of emojis that looks like something about the uh, the, the the Russian flag, the Saudi flag, um, oil cans, and a, uh, a stock ticker. So if I click that, it'll actually give me a little more information about it. Um, and it comes up as another chat window, and here's another bit of, about oil prices spiking. Here's a graphic of the chart of what you know, exactly how that happened. And I can hit next and go to the next story. And I'll click through this. Uh, Americans are going to replace their gas guzzlers with electric SUVs, whether they want to or not. Again, kind of an emoji kind of response there. I can go to the next one. So you're really, like, if you just want to check in on your no news, um, this is a nice visual, quick way. Jeb Bush tried to revive his struggling presidential campaign with an unusual tweet, and it shows actually the tweet visually here, America, and it's a picture of a gun with uh, Governor Jeb Bush inscribed on it. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> and one of the responses, other than next, is a what the, and it gives me some more information about exactly what this is about. So a really interesting kind of way to check the news. Like, I could see this as... I want to see the next one, the next one, uh, the next Twitter tsunami uh, it, it went back to is uh, a bunch of people tweeting America, uh, super soaker, America, a dog, uh, was that a dancing dog with a top hat? Uh, and America, uh, stuffed crust, bacon, uh, oh, oh, this is the hot dog pizza hut thing. Uh, so there you go. That was the, the responses as well. So very visual, very social media minded. And you can you can kind of go through here and just like real quick, like sitting on the train chill, I can see you just kind of catching up with your news, uh, presuming you're connected, of course, or, can, or whatever the case may be. Can it do curation based on topics and things of that nature? Or is it just pretty much here's all the news and we're just going to throw it all at you? Or can I say kind of like with Apple News, I can say I'm, I'm a little more interested in tech than I am in international I don't know oil. Hmm. Uh, well, it's uh, I, I think it's it's the general news. Um, but I would imagine as you go, like as you respond to things, maybe it'll change that. Um, okay. They're they're telling you that you're uh, you know you can set up your notifications uh, like on their page for the iPhone app. Um, they're talking they're talk telling you that you know all this is written by humans. It's like texting, so they set up you know that response tree as you would. So it's 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 a bot, but it's written by people. Um, in a fun way, and like I say, you, you saw the visuals. If you're on video, they're showing the gifts and and tweets and everything. Um, I think it's a really interesting way to engage in news a little bit. You're not exactly texting back to it, other than the, the options that they give. But I wonder if there's a point where that can become a little bit bigger. Um, <laughs> Apple Watch owners, <laughs> hold on, Apple Watch owners, you can gauge the markets with an emoji on your watch face. <laughs> so it's just like uh Marcus looking frowny face right now. Uh I, I poop think it's emoji. Kind of yeah, Katie, you were gonna say something? I said poop emoji. <laughs> what would what would be interesting is if you had like if what Quartz did, they also did as a the exact same thing as a Twitter feed and a Facebook feed and a Snapchat feed and so no matter what social network I'm on. I'm already there, right? I can just go to their page and see top-down view. Mm -hmm. The the hard thing that I'm finding about news is I don't unless I'm purposefully 
telling myself, hey, I want to go look at the news right now, I'm more apt to find the news as part of other people's Twitter and Facebook threads. And it may make it a little more sticky for me to use their service if their service was already on existing services. So I didn't have to leave right. to go look at this. And that's the one thing that I'm, I think is going to be the hard nut to crack. And I think it's going to be a Facebook or an Amazon that solves this unless courts can come along. And instead of you hear things being cross platform, maybe this is cross social network. So it doesn't matter where I already am. I can go to courts, courts feed on whatever service and then catch my news there. And it would be interesting to see if they could then aggregate the back end to see based on Facebook, Twitter, whatever, what people are liking most within a social platform and also cross social platform. And it's also, you know, this is, I, I think Quartz is very kind of high business minded because there's a lot of stuff about stocks. For for instance, there's one feature is a markets haiku that you can have come to your watch as well. But I also like the idea of, well, this is so simplified. You have two responses and you get more information. Why can't this be adapted to an app for like, say, a Pebble watch or something like as low as that and accessible to that? I would load the app if it puts the information right here at my fingertips, right? Yeah, and I would almost see like there there's there's things where I've been trying to figure out is there a way and I'm I'm looking at probably if this then that is there a way to if there's breaking news that's getting a lot of commentary or a lot of likes or a lot of reads on specific sites is there a way to then alert me to that happening? that then I can know to, hey, I should probably go read this right away because it could impact my work or my users. So that's kind of where I'm going with this whole curated feed. I want to know, based on technology, iOS and Android, how can I figure out how to make sure I'm in the know as soon as something large is publicized, whether it be a cool new feature, the next version of a beta or a, or a vulnerability. Um, that's announced. And that's kind of where I'm looking at how I can curate my news that way. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, but I, ha I have to laugh because I'm looking down the conversation, just kind of scrolling through the, uh, the courts, this page here. And a developer experience leader at Uber was like, when will you launch on Slack and messenger? And I just like the fact that Slack is in the same conversation as messenger. Mm -hmm. I can see that. I'm playing a little bit with Slack bots, as some of you may have noticed in the general conversation there on the show today. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out like new interesting ways to uh, to, to kind of incorporate that stuff. A uh, side note: ProductHunt.com is a really cool place to find new apps and and such. And I actually have a couple of things in a rundown from that. So go check that out. So, Alex, you got any thoughts on this? Yeah, it, to be honest, it sounds interesting. The last time I used an actual like news app was Flipboard, I think it was called, the mm -hmm. app for like iPad and whatnot. I thought that was really cool, but as it is, I get a lot of my news just kind of as I'm scrolling through Facebook and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to kind of use something like Quartz to kind of maybe better, kind of better sort the news. I'm kind of with Chilla about having more like options on creation, but it sounds interesting.